Lighting is really the culmination of the evening. There wouldn't be a tree lighting without a tree, and there wouldn't be a tree without a generous tree donor. And to introduce us to that generous woman from Williamsville is our Jen Stenonis, who had a chance to get to meet her. Hi, Jen. Good evening, guys. I know, isn't it standing so tall and beautiful? It's running more than 40 feet. Organizers say it's the tallest tree so far in the almost 30 years they've been doing the celebration. And we got to meet with the family who donated this tree. It's once again that time of year, the Tree of Hope celebration. And this year, the tree of blue spruce comes from the front yard of a home in Williamsville. The tree was just a small little evergreen in the back. Judy Mathias says they moved into their home decades ago, the tree already there. The tree was uh, with the house in the backyard when we first moved in, which was over 40 years ago. They moved the tree to the front of the house where it thrived. Since then, it just kept growing and eventually it grew so tall to the point that it is today. The very large tree has provided many good years for the family. Nice memories of the tree. A lot of photos in front of the tree, family photos. And this evergreen has been through a lot over the decades, including snow and wind storms, but it made it this far to this special day. A lot of commotion, it's very exciting. It really is, and my neighbors came out to support. My family's here, my daughter's here, my sister is here. We're all here to witness this momentous day. As crews came to get the tree, Judy says it's very fitting that they're the family donating the tree this year. I thought it would be a fitting tribute. I worked at Roswell Park many, many years ago in research. My Practically my whole family worked at Roswell at one point. And so, after more than 40 years, this tree is now moving to its new home. Roswell Park capturing the moment with its drone. Mixed emotions. Uh, we're going to miss the tree tremendously. And it was time for it to serve another purpose. And we're really excited to donate it for the Tree of Hope because we thought what a fitting, fitting way to honor the tree and honor the patients at Roswell Park. And now standing tall at more than 40 feet at Roswell Park, this year's Tree of Hope. Just a wonderful experience to see it all lit up in its glory, and that will be its final glory. Judy Mathias and her family are here, of course, for this special tree lighting cele uh, cele uh, celebration, that is. A little, a little emotional here. Um, it's going to be beautiful. It stands more than 40 feet tall. Organizers say if you have a tree to donate to, uh, please reach out to Roswell Park. And note that Erie County, they've received trees every year for the 29 years from Erie County uh, for several of those years, guys. It's interesting. It really is. And Jen, you know, it's so generous of Judy Mathias to donate that tree. It's a little bit of loss for her to lose it in her front yard after having it for 40 years. But think about all the joy that she is bringing to so many people yeah. City by of good donating. Neighbors. City of good neighbors, it falls under that uh, description. Certainly, Certainly. does.